we are given two blocks and block 1 is pushed down on the spring and then connected with block 2 with a thread so initially this spring is in compressed state then we cut this thread and when we do that we need to find at what values of delta l the initial compression the lower cube will bounce up and in second what height the center of gravity of the system will rise if initial compression of the string delta l is 7 mg by k let's do the first part where we need to find what should be the delta l such that cube will lower cube will bounce up let's write the initial situation and the natural length when the so initial situation the spring is compressed and it's given that it's compressed by delta l now when you cut the thread the this block will move up so at one point it will come to its natural length which is l naught so natural length of the spring then the block will still go up and eventually it will come at rest so let's find the minimum delta l such that this block bounces up so for minimum delta l when the spring is stretched enough to bring this up this particle must be at rest so again here the particle was here first we need to find delta l such that the lower particle can bounce off so for minimum amount of delta l this particle must come at rest here and at this moment this particle should just lift off so when this is at rest then this particle should just lift off that is our condition and let's say the stretch in the spring is delta l2 so this delta l2 is from l0 so about that it is further stretched by delta l2 so this is the stretch in the spring and we are saying that at this moment this block lifts off so this is the elongation when bottom block just lifts off so it will lift off when the force upward force due to spring is equal to mg that is our first equation k delta l2 is equal to mg now second equation we will do the energy conservation so energy is stored in the spring here and then the finally final energy is stored in the spring and the potential energy gained so half k delta l square initial energy stored is equal to half k delta l2 square final energy stored plus this mass has lifted from here to here so plus mg into delta l plus delta l2 plus delta ke so we have already seen that our condition for delta l to be minimum is that this particle should come to rest by now and initially of course it was at rest so delta ke is zero for minimum delta l and that you can see from this equation also so from one and two we have two variables delta l2 and delta l so just resolving it we'll get the quadratic function with in delta l whose root will be 3 mg by k and minus mg by k so the spring is compressed so delta l must be positive so our answer is 3 mg by k this result is simply when the string is stretched by this same amount mg by k so this is that result but we are given the compressed spring so we will take our answer to be 3 mg by k now in second part they have given the value of delta l so they have given that how much they have compressed and you can see it is 7 mg by k so much more than 3 mg by k which is the minimum delta l needed so it is compressed even further and then released so you can imagine that when it will come to this point when the block just lifts off the top particle will still have some velocity and because of that the system whole system is going to go up further so that's what we need to find to what height h 
the center of gravity of the system will rise. So let's do it in the second page. So we'll break this into four steps. So initially, it is compressed by delta L amount and the value of delta L is given as 7 mg by k. And the center of mass initially is at the height h1. And h1 we can write as L0 minus delta L by 2. Now second, the spring comes into natural length. Then third, the spring stretches further until the block just lifts off. So in that case, we know that stretch should be mg by k. We have already seen it here. Right? Delta L2 must be mg by k when bottom block just lifts off. So when it is mg by k, then this particle will still have some velocity. Let's call it v. So on this situation, we are going to get two equations. One is for the center of mass and second is for the velocity. So for center of mass, we can write h2 is equal to L0 plus mg by k by 2. L0 plus mg by k by 2. And second, we are going to conserve energy. So initial energy is half k delta L square. Final energy is half mv square. So this time kinetic energy is not zero. For the bottom particle, of course, it is zero. So we are just writing kinetic energy of this particle. Plus energy stored in the spring, that is half k mg by k whole square. Plus it's lifted from ground, sorry, it's lifted from this position to the height of delta L plus mg by k. So here we'll put the value of delta L, which is given in the problem, and we'll see that V square comes to be 32 mg square by K. So this is the velocity of the top particle. So velocity of center of mass is going to be half of that, right? It's going to be V1 plus V2 divided by 2m and V2 is zero. So it is simply, sorry, I meant M1 V1 plus M2 V2 by m1 plus m2 and v2 is 0 m is same so it is simply half of the velocity of v so v we will replace as vcm into 2 or you can write vcm as v by 2 so vcm square is equal to v square by 4 which gives vcm square is equal to 8 mg square by k so this is the height of the center of mass h2 before it lifts off. After lift off, the system is now separated from the ground. So the whole system will just go about in the gravity and the height gained from this point to this point. Let's write it as h3 minus h2. So at this point, let's say velocity of center of mass is zero. So H3 minus H2, we can write as Vcm square by 2g. So our standard equation of motion. So at the highest point, the velocity of center of mass is zero. So it is 2gh, right? Now here, the velocity of center of mass will put from here and we'll get H3 minus H2 as 4mg by k. And we have already found H2 minus H1 by subtracting these two, that also comes to be 4mg by k. So from initial position, the center of mass has risen by total distance of h3 minus h2 plus h2 minus h1. So we'll just put those values here from these two equations and get our answer 8 mg by 